DR Sports, um, Alex just said he don't want to chat to me. I know it's a deflating draw, that is. You're lucky to get a point. Yeah, listen, uh, on the balance of the game, you'd probably say that Spurs definitely deserved a draw. Whether they deserved the win is up for a debate. But, yeah, we didn't do enough to win, and that's all I care about. And um, two points dropped, and it's going to be difficult now. But I said it in the stream. There's no way I can be upset, disappointed, or let down by these players, man. And if you think that we think that we are let down by them, then you don't know football. Is that it now? Is it league over? The league was never ours, mate. City had it in their hands, and that's the reality of it. None of us said that we, we were going to win the league. Yeah, we were chasing them. We were 13 points behind them. And we Come on, you're point behind, right? The, forget, the behind thir- forget the 13 points. Behind, You've right? been a point behind. Now, you know, obviously they've got their game coming up tomorrow. You've been chasing down the league. There's been talk of the quadruple and stuff like that. Is but is is that result today the one that's going to cost you, you think? We've done this before. We got 97 points and didn't win the league. And that was 13 or 15 games or something where we both had to win. And they won every we single won one of them. We've got trauma responses to this, Robbie, mate. Man City yeah. are great in the league and we know that. They're not good at the Champions League, though, are they? Hey. <laughs> um, that's all I'm asked about now is just the Champions League, getting over the line in there. This doesn't hurt as much as it would if we lost the Champions League, simply because it was always in City's hands anyway. We were chasing them. We were pushing them. It is what it is. However, on the other side of it, Robbie, yes, we've drawn today. Yes, we've dropped points. But we still go top of the league and the pressure is still back on Manchester City. Mm. They lost their last game in the Champions League, which could or it could not affect them. We don't know yet. But let's just see what happens by the end of the season and then we review things. I think now... If I ask this question on the stream, I'm going to ask it again, oh, right? I say, I know what I'm going to ask it again. But you know what? Because... No, no, no. The reason why I'm asking it, right? I like to ask questions that people out there will be asking, Right. right? If Liverpool come the end of the season, Just all Carabao you win Cup. is the Carabao Olivia Cup. Faded. You've not won the league. You, you, because remember, is what I was saying. To win the FA Cup next weekend, you've got to get past Chelsea. When you played them in the Carabao Cup. I think that's quite That was a tough... Yeah, but it was a tough game. They were probably the better team on the they day. They were better then, though. They're a lot worse now. Right. So you've got to get past them to, be, to win the uh, FA Cup. That's the only thing they can win. You've got to get past Real Madrid to win um, the Champions League. And still, you know, there's still a chance of the league, but you've got to get past City. Mm. It is conceivable that you could end the season with just the Carabao Cup. Would that be a failure? No. No. It would not be a failure. It's the same answer that I gave you five times earlier on the stream. We would not be a failure. (sighs) People are so short-sighted when it comes to this kind of thing. If you look, just please go and do your research or do your homework or whatever. Look at our form over the last two or three years. We've never seen anything like. It means this. nothing if you don't win the win the the the, the trophies, though. Yeah. Maybe not as much, but it still means something. And if we didn't win the Champions League, the FA Cup this season, it's still a, a, a trophy winning season. Um, but if we can what, add the Carabao that, if, Cup, if we can add the yeah, come on, you know that, you know it's a major trophy. If we can add the Champions League and the FA Cup, then we're looking at a, a great trophy. season. Yeah, great season. And if we don't win them, then it's, it's still been a good season. But it okay. can't be classed as a failure. That's Same question for you. Same question for you. Because would, would, you, people would be saying you bottled it if you don't pick up one of them big trophies. I mean, the reality is big teams, winners, get over the line. That's what we want from this team. And they've done it already. They've won a Champions League. They've won a Premier League after 30 years of not winning one. This team can get over the line. We've just got to wait until the end of the season. You're a bit fearful now, though. As I said, when you look at what's ahead... No. Big prizes, but big obstacles in the way. Liverpool have always been a cup team. That's what we do. That's why we've won six Champions Leagues already. That's why we've won so many things at Wembley. This is what we do. We've never been a league team. We've won 19 of them. We've won a lot of them, first flight ones, because football existed before the Prem. But we've only won uh, one Prem. Since then, we've been a cup team because of the fans, because of the way the club set up, because there's something about Liverpool that gets them over the line in cups. And I am very confident when it comes to the Champions League and FA Cup that we can do something, at least one of them, we can. Simple as that. The motivation's right against Real Madrid. We won our revenge. If it was against City, I would have been a little bit worried because their motivation would have been bigger than ours. But it's not. I am confident for these two cup finals, mate. And it's not a failure. It's not. If we've done this well, any other team... We're, talk- Man Listen, United, we're talking about, we're talking Coming about West Ham. Coming sixth or seventh, that's a failure after signing Ronaldo, Varane and Sancho. Not getting top four is a failure for Arsenal. Not getting top four for Tottenham is a failure for them. Us winning two trophies out of maybe four available, how can that be seen the as a failure? The this high, mate. You're talking about West Ham this season, who've been fantastic, by the way. They get to a semi-final in the Europa League, and that's a great season for them. Mm. We get to a final. No, no, people are saying this week they bottled it. 
Yeah. Still been a great and team. That's why I'm saying that's why I, I, so I put it. the question to you. What a I do. I get it. Winning teams get over the line and that's all there is to it. And I get it. And I hear all the people that would say that it's bottling it. But for as a Liverpool fan, I will be extremely disappointed that we don't come away with at least two trophies this season. Of course I will. But having said that, the journey that we've been on has been incredible and it's played some of the best football I've ever seen a team play. And for that, I'm not disappointed. How can I be disappointed in that, guys? If your team is playing the same way Liverpool have or Man City have, you can't be disappointed. You can't because they've showed us week in, week out what they want to do for this club. I I I'm not disappointed. I'm not. I love the club. I do.